I'm back. We're here for day six. So you've kind of seen the natural progression of how I get ready in the morning. So my next step I do before my 3D mascara is my brows. So we have two tools that we use. We have a liner and we have a brow gel. They come in three different shades. We have the light, which I tried first, it was too light for me. So I use the medium, I use the medium and both, and we have a dark as well. So the first step I use is a pencil, and this one luckily is a twist up. So you can kind of just go through, kind of create the bottom, and you're just kind of going along your natural hairline. So I kind of do the bottom, and then I kind of do the outer, the top, then I kind of just go through and fill in a little bit, which this part isn't bad for me. It's just kind of this outer part that needs a little help. So I kind of do that a little bit more. So I just kind of go through and just fill in the missing spots. So I'm not creating huge dramatic eyebrows that I didn't have in the first place. I'm just kind of filling in what I already naturally had. All those curls. Whew. Okay. So then I'm just going to go back through and go over kind of what I did in the first place. And the brush has the gel on it so you're just going to kind of go through and it just picks up with the hair so you can, hopefully you can see a little bit of a difference in my brows so again i'm just going to stick with one done just so you can kind of see the difference so thank you and tomorrow i'm going to be applying the 3d fiber mascara to show you a how easy it is but B, it is not clumpy. That's the number one thing people are going to be afraid of. Are my eyelashes going to look clumpy? No, they're going to look wonderful and everybody's going to ask you, what's your secret? What are you using? So stay tuned tomorrow for our 3D Fiber Mascara. Bye.